My name is Karina Harke. What's your name? My name is um, Charity. Charity. Oh, yeah. full name? Um, my full name is Vinarasi Nirmala Charity. Thank you. What a lovely name. Okay, thank you. Could I see your ID, please? Sure. Could I have the um, little book? Yes, that's right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, Charity. Yes. Yeah. And you're level one. Thank you very much. Nice to, nice to meet you. How are you today? I'm fine, thank Good. you. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, so now, um, you're going to tell me how to do something. Okay. Have you got something to show me? Yes, I do. And I'm going to tell you about how to make a fish curry. Oh, that sounds delicious. <laughs> and that is a picture of fish curry. Mm -hmm. Good to Very small, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you how to make a fish curry. Um, mm. so is it very complicated? It's not very complicated. Mm. It is mm. just very simple. Mm. Lots of ingredients. Yes, yeah, yeah. lots of ingredients. It's very simple curry than any other. Mm. Um, you need uh, some fish, any kind of fish you can take for 500 grams. Is that white fish or any kind? Of fish? Yeah, any kind of fish mm. you like. So, mm. what's the best to use? Um, salmon is the best mm. one to use or cod. Mm. And you can use any of them. If you take 500 grams, you need um, ginger, half a teaspoon, garlic, and um, turmeric powder, mm -hmm. and turmeric smashed, mm -hmm. and then onions, tomato, and curry leaves, and curry powder. So, should the fish be filleted before you cook it? No, you don't need to, but you need to marinate the fish mm -hmm. half an hour before. Right. With just a curry powder and some lemon. Right. Is that put in the fridge then? Yes, yeah. you can marinate them and mm -hmm. you can keep it in the fridge. And mm -hmm. when you want to cook the fish, just heat the oil and add onion to fry. Mm -hmm. When the onion is ready, you can add the onion grind, you can make a paste and the cumin powder together to make them fry a little bit. And then you add other old ingredients, let them to fry for 10 minutes. Then you can it's add a long time. Let's be, you have to be careful you don't burn. You no, know, it, it, because you need to get stirred. Mm -hmm. Because when they are more cooking, the more taste comes. Mm -hmm. and when you cook them like that, and you add, them, add some water, and boil them a little bit, and then you add tamarind which is smashed and you made it ready, you can add it. Let them to boil in a very low heat mm -hmm. for half an hour. When they all ready, then you can add a fish at the end. For mm -hmm. When you add a fish, you don't need to cook a lot. You mm -hmm. just cook for the maximum 10 minutes. So it's not cooked in the oven then? No. I see. Yeah, it, because the fish is very delicate, so mm -hmm. it doesn't need a long time cooking, just 10 minutes. You just put the fish in the the mm -hmm. sauce which you made, mm -hmm. and then you just close the lid. Ten minutes later, you can turn it off. Right. And, and just leave it. it. Just leave it. Uh -huh. If you leave it too long, it will be very, they all, the fish all get mushy. Just need to open the lid and leave it. And what should you it be served with? Rice. Rice. And yes, you can rice, and you can. At the end, you can add some coriander in it. Mm. Fresh coriander. Fresh coriander. It sounds delicious. How often do you make it? Um, every two weeks. Mm. Is it expensive to make? No, really. Mm. No. Just the fish. And depends on the price of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. lovely. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, now, um, I'm going to tell you about something that happened to me in the past. Okay? So while I'm speaking, you need to listen, comment, and ask questions to show that you understand. Okay. So, um, when I was 11 years old, I changed schools and I started to study at the Swedish school in London. You started to study in the Swedish school in London? Yes. Yeah. You changed the school from which part? Which part? Like you stayed at school? So I started in, in, at an English school okay. until I was 11 and then my mother decided I was going to go to the Swedish school, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Did you like the new school? Mm. Or how do you find? I loved it, but it was quite a shock at the beginning. Is it how to find language? Well, this is it, you see. Um, on the first day, we had a Swedish dictation. And I've never had a dictation before. So that was quite a shock. Um, um, when you had the dictation, did you ask anything of the teacher? No, I just did. Did he explain to you anything? No, because everybody else knew what to do. And I, I, I was the only one who didn't know what to do. But I just copied everybody else. They wrote down what the teacher said and got to the end of the lesson. And uh, we all handed in our books. And that was it, really, until the next day when I got my book back. Oh. And when you were in the school, did the teacher talk to you in Swedish? They asked you? Yeah, everything was in Swedish. Yeah, yeah. They to you in Swedish. Everything, all the subjects were in Swedish. But when I got my book back, I noticed it was covered in lots of ticks, which I was really pleased with. Did that happen? It was, all, it was all correct, I thought. Okay. But, do you know before it's Swedish anything? Yeah, I can speak Swedish, but I never really Swedish. Stuff. Yeah, my mother's oh, Swedish, so I was, yeah. But I, I, when I looked at the other, my other uh, classmates' books, their books were covered in crosses. And then I realized something was wrong. Because all my work was covered in ticks, and everything is wrong. Oh, how does that? Because in Sweden, um, a tick is wrong and a cross is right. Oh, okay. That's the best thing I've ever had. Yes, that's the best thing to understand. Is tick is Normally, we know tick is a right mm. and cross is a wrong. In this country. So what is the tick that's wrong? It's a big shock. Well, she was very kind. <laughs> she was very kind. She helped me a lot. And I, I ended up doing very well in Sweden. But that is the best day. Best day is it's yeah. not easy for it. No. <laughs> Anyway, that was a long time ago. Thank you for that. Okay, so now we're going to do the role play. <clears throat> um, so I am your manager at work, and we want to arrange an event to raise money for charity. Um, I need your help, because we haven't got much time and we've got a few problems. What kind of problems do you have at the festival? Well, we can't hold an event here on the premises. Okay. They want to ask to do that. And what about if we can kind of find some highway play? Mm -hmm. It's like church hall or community hall or something yeah. like that. Okay. Would you like to arrange for that? So we can just bring some program to raise money, like we can put kind of fundraising or you can put like a, with I know curry mm -hmm. evenings with oh, curry evening. evening, what a good idea. Mm -hmm. How can you do that? Curry evening which normally you make some food which is including a kind of different variety of curry mm -hmm. and then you can um, invite people mm -hmm. and you give a ticket. So right. say so five pounds for a person you can say and you can get so we can, can do with your friend, which you know, you can sell the ticket to them. People which I know, I can sell the ticket. So how know. much do you should we charge for the ticket? Five pounds. Five pounds. Because we make a variety of food, mm -hmm. and it would be proper meal for them. It's right. five pounds, which is very good. So how many curries would we have to? Provide? We could do two, three curries, like fish curry, chicken curry, and there's another curry, lentil. Oh, yes, because we need to take into consideration vegetarian things. Yes, some people, they might eat, they want to eat just vegetarian. Mm. And do you think we can make money out of this? Definitely, we could. Right. And how many people, how, when do we start to, could we make a profit from it? Because obviously we want to raise the money for the charity. Yeah, as you said, as we, need, we don't have much time, don't we? We don't have much time, um, but we want to. I want to make sure we can raise as much money for this new. Um, mm -hmm. How much you are thinking of? We can raise, you know. Well, I mean, could we make between four and five hundred pounds? Four and five hundred. We could make up to, I would say, three hundred fifty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of friends, you could 
just you the right of very well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and how do you think we can sell tickets for it? I mean, should we, do, is it, we just, is it by word of mouth, or should we maybe do something on the internet or on Facebook? Um, no, we can just do. So tell our friends and families, and we can tell them to their friends okay. to bring them. Word of mouth. Uh, yes. Yeah. Then when we ask our friend to bring their friend, and they know people with their family, and mm -hmm. they can Excellent. come over. Okay. I'll come back to you on that. That sounds like a really good plan. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. So that's all for now, and we'll continue with the group discussion shortly. So please wait outside until we're ready. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you.